this is a real talk. Tonight, my guests get real on an issue that is affecting countless of children and women across Kenya. As I stand here tonight talking to you, there are countless of women who are trapped, trapped in prostitution. But not my guests. My guests broke free. So tonight, they'll be sharing their stories with us, hoping that we will touch somebody out there, educate you so that you can be able to raise awareness and we can protect our girls, young boys, and women in Kenya. Welcome to the show. Welcome to Real Talk. Now, in Kenya, prostitution is a very complex issue because it's not legal, but yet, over the years, experts have raised their alarm because statistics are showing that more young people, young men, young women are getting trapped in this vicious cycle. Well, tonight, we want to delve deeper into this topic, trying to understand from those who have been in the underclutches of this vicious cycle and hoping that, like I said earlier, we can actually impact lives out there, raise more awareness on this issue. I want to introduce my first guest, Gladys Washuke, 23. Gladys, maybe tell us a bit about your story because we know that today you work as a saloonist, yeah. but a couple of years back your life was very different. Yeah, that's true. Okay. Mimi, Nili, Mimi ni mezaliwa Lunga Lunga. I grew up there. I never knew my dad or my mom. Nile grow na shosh. So neza imagine nile life ya shosh kuni spoil ivyo. So akuna kitu nyali alikuwa na niambia ni ngemskia. Nile kwa tu yani ni kotu life yangu. Nika kuda nika shikana na group mbaya. That nile kwa nine years by then. Nile na hii life ya home. Si ipuata ishu lesta kisasa. Nilianza na kuenanga uku beza kukula ngwai na so, changa. Ukiwa nine years? Yeah, nine, nine years nine. ni class two, class three? Eh, uh, Iyo bez, mapolisi wakaijua, wakai, wakai tuanisha, waka relocate ngara. So tulikuwa kwa tambaka ngara. Tulikuwa nga, uh, tunenanga uko, tulikuwa tunakuita nga riverside. Tunenda uko riverside. Uko ndo kila kitu ilikuwa sayi nafanyika. So at this point, bado ulikuwa unenda shule, ama ulikuwa mekata shule. Ah, nilikuwa nisha, chabat bado, nilikuwa na rudingi tu kulala kwa shosha. Alikuwa na nyona masiku kadha kadha. So but, kuna time uneza lala nje pia, mm, at 10 years old. Mm, na shosha tu saizo wana kuangalia tu hasemi kitu. Eh, alikuwa mze. But nilikuwa tu na, na jaribu, sa zingine na tokia na mwoshi hata viombo. Na ya nilikuwa tu ni kana mfunga macho na rudi na, na potea. So tulikuwa na oma besti zangu, tukona nga, ai life ya home ni hard. Wacha tutu wendo kuku, tunapata maduno, na pia wakiiba wanatuachia. Wakituachia si tunapata za nguai, ya tunge kosanga za nguai. Na saizu ukisema wanawachia, ni how much mulikuwa minachiwa? Hei walikuwa natujenga ukweli. Unaona saizu, hiyo time so mbili likuwa dopoa, unaona? Mbaka tulikuwa tu, wanakuja, natuambia tupikie, ni unatukipika, tunazunda pia dozi ngini, unaona hezi kakutisha vitu kaa change, unaona? So ama chalioka kwa naenda tuwa kimado madu, kimado madu, unona, wengine wana, wanaacha, wengine wanauliwa. Hai, tukarudi sasa mi nikajua kubuta, nini ingata. Sa hiyo ndo nilisikia, nga sa hiyo ndo inakampua kabisa. But sasa kuwa najua hiyo, sasa ndo inanipoteza. So, yeah. uliandele hivi na miaka ngapi? Beza nilikuwa kitu dhati na hapo. Nilikuwa sasa nimekuwa mbaya, was kabisa. Nilikuwa, sa, nikanza maka kupinji, kupikpoket. So, acha wesa ku, wendo luka utuwa wagondi, sa uka kuwa, sasa wendo muizi sasa. Mm, muizi sasa. <laughs> Mini kwa nona bedwe ni kitupua, nilikuwa hapata nga madopua, but unona sasa ni shengi lili ya drugs. Do zangu zote ni kwa napeleka nga kwa drugs. Ata ningena tu nipate kasi muka punch, na kauza raka raka, nena na baingata. Sana sana nilikuwa na spend kwa ngata. Nikuwa na shina nga hivi, tukwa tunitanga monyonyi. Nikuwa <laughs> na shina na hey, monyonyi kwa mdomo. Hey. So unona, ilikuwa bedhe na tubamba. So, ok, hiyo ilikuwa na nifanya nga sikuli. Hakuna kitu siogi, niko tu upuwa na hiyo. Hiyo sandu nikani mefika mwisho. Ilikuwa na nibamba, ilikuwa na tubamba sisu wote. Mbaka uko hivyo pia tulikuwa tunaibiana. Iyo ngata. Ukiwa na ayo kilalo, na nasa utaivuto, uisniff, uisniff mbaka ulale, umu ngine na ya na hii. Ukiwa muka unamuka na njayake, unasikia tuyo kiu. Addiction, sayo liku unamuza kuhidia. Eee, kabisa, mm. kabisa. Saa so, ukuwevo pia tukua tunapigana, tunakatana, katana, unawana, jilia kitu kaa hiyo. So, 
ai uko hivyo kwa kuiba ikakuwa pia nguri kidogo masanso akatujua so na pia sisi wakatu wakatupigia ngarengi siku moja wakatushika so ukisema masanse ni mapolisi Ma kwa wale pengine hawajashika hiyo <laughs> rada <laughs> eh saa wakatushikanga tukaenanga kutiko tukaambia nga judge sisi ni maina unaona pia judge ako na huruma tukafunga ngumizi sita tukatoka akasema nga turudi shule tuka promise to rudi shule but tunajua tu hiyo ni mdomo tu inaongea kwa Kiswahili tu eh saa kutoka ai sasa hapo hivyo nikaona nga eh huku hivi hapa pameuma na acha nitafute tena means zingine so hapo hivyo ndo nilijua nga kitu inaitwa kujiuza kwa sababu hizo pengine pia watu wanakuangalia mm. na kuambia nini tu mm. nikiwa yeah. tuko ndani kuna mtu tulijua na na yeye so akan introduce tena tulitokanisha na ngana ye nikakaanga bezi yake huko hivyo madhara alikuwa, alikuwa mzee kitu 36 na sasa hizo wewe uko 13 eh so akakwambiaje akanyonyesha anga wewe fanyanga hivi utakuwa niacheza macho hapo ndo nilianza anga venye sawa alinyonyesha anga tuanze hivi sasa hapo ndo nilianza nikajuanga oh kumbe ni zalala na mtu anipe do mimi nika find it fun kwangu so before had you slept with anyone even if it was a boyfriend eh kachali or... kangu ni, ni shekwa na kachali <laughs> so you were already sexually active yeah. at which age were you sexually active around 11 11 years yeah. so by the Benil time nilitoka kwa shosho nikaenda nililalanga by then aka alikuwa mwizi alikuwa mwizi wa chali alikuwa 17 years eh huyo ndo alikuwa first chali wangu but akauliangwa na sasa uko 11 mm. alafu sasa hivi umemitwi mama an older woman anakuintroduce kwa the real world of mm. prostitution kwa baba anakuambia sasa you don't have to do this you can actually do this and get paid yeah. and for a 13 year old impressionable girl mwenye anataka kuwa na pesa ya, ku, ya kuvuta pesa ya kununua vitu mm-hmm. uko na maisha ni rahisi eh aya ukaanza so tell us about now your first experience with prostitution Okay mtu wa kwanza alikuwa anga mtu hiyo bezi yake kulikuwa anga na mtu watu wanakuja wana, alikuwa na uzangwai sawa watu wenye wanakuja tu kubai ngwai tulikuwa bado tuna best yangu mwenye tulitoka tulihepa naye home alikuwa anaitwa Helen so venye tukiwa tu uko beza alikuwa anga na watu mtu wa kwanza alikuwa mbaba mkubwa okay mbaba akwa na story mob alinipa anga tao so 1000 yeye ndo alikuwa mtu wa kwanza kunishikisha dopoa for your first time as a commercial mm. sex worker mm. so uko hapo venye umesema it was very easy amepatia dopoa mm-hmm. so now ukiwa pale na ule mama how many clients would you serve in a day nilikuwa na serve waine cause ungekosa kusavu watu wengi alikuwa nakutukana alikuwa anga unajua sasa tuseme umepata tao ulikuwa unapata kaso sita ama so saba au nakula tu so tatu So yeye anakula karibu 70%. Eh alikuwa anatunyanyasa mbaya. Na sasa hizo mko wasichana kawa ngapi kwa hiyo? Tulikuwa anga round 10, 10 12 hapo. All of you your ages, eh. all, all your ages. Mmoja alikuwa years. mkubwa sana, alikuwa anga around 17 years. Na sasa hiyo time Shosha alikuwa na joke kwa wapi? Mimi hata nilikuwa nishasa hao maneno ya Shosha. So hata Shosha ndo umeanza maisha yako eh, sasa. Eh hata sikuwa na kanyaga kwake kabisa. In fact hata alikuwa anga nanitafuta, nilikuwa nasikia ngaki nitafuta na hepa na hama hiyo yeye anaenda irengini sasa hata sasa ni kwa nishato kanga lunga lunga kabisa sasa nilikuwa nga, niko hizi side za madhare huko ndo mali nilikuwa anga sasa na natulianga na pale mali mlikuwa mnaketi na huyu madha hakuna mtu alikuwa na wanda ni anje huyu madha na kana watu hii kwa nyumba na tunaona hii ile kazi wanafanya pale si kitu poa hakuna mtu mwenye ali realize anaona au ni watoto unaona hiyo area nyerea nikaka ile kako na changaden yani place nika iko na sex den unaona sasa unaona hata kikuja kupata hapo ai anaona huyu si mtoto walikuwa wanasema ngai wewe si mtoto kenye mimi na meza unaweza meza unaona na sisi kwetu tulikuwa tuna so tatu so ine ni dopo ni dopo by the way kweli wa mama alikuwa anatunyanyasanga kabla tukuje kujua alikuwa ashatutumia anga sana unaona na yeye alikuwa na watoto bata kwanga anatukanga watoto wa when bid kwa hiyo sex but sisi alikuwa anatuambia anga hadi alikuwa anatutafutia anga watu wa baba wakubwa sana so tukakanga hapo tukaona anga mama yenyewe anatunyanyasa alikuwa anga ametu promise ingi tutakuwa tunaishi hapo tunampatia hiyo do 
Na ya alikuwa, alikuwa akipika na tuita sisi wote, tunakulia sisi wote. But vitu zikakuja zikaanza kuchange. Ni kama kona wivu, ni kama yani maneno. So najotu maneno ya mademu, mawivu, kubisha na bisha, na kufight. Ah, mi ni kona ngayo life ya hapo, ni hard. Ni katoka anga hapo, mi ni kenda anga tao. Nilikuwa anga nenda anga na tega tao. Ni kitega tao, mtu wana nipeleka loji. So natutalilambaka asubu, mi usiku yangu imesha hivo. Kesho yake asubu, tunazungurura huko tu. But sasa... Uyu best yangu mmoja uyo Helen ilifika to a point akagonje kanga but unaona sasa sisi hatakuwa tunajua story na condoms. Uyo mama atakuwa anataka anga vitu atitujue story na condoms kuna story na kuji protect. Alikuwa anga nakwambia anga kwanza unaona kidozi na uyo sasa ukiwa hivyo ndo atakulipa do poa ni kweli walikuwa naongeza anga do. But sasi hatakuwa tunajua anga kwa nini. Lakini pia kuna ile risk because kuna magonjwa kama STD HIV so dema kapata nga ugonjo. Sisi tulijua nga ni gonoria. Tukaenda nga kwa chemist, tukamba ya dawa, katibi yango tu gonoria. But atu kujua ili kuanga more to that, kuli kuanga na kitu. So tukaenda ilea atu, tunaenda ilea atu kwa tunashia mbaka wanaume. Akilala na uu leo, uyu kesho wakia nitake, unona? Unaenda ilea atu, life in a go on. So ilifika tuwa poeta kakwa sasa natokia black spots. Hai hapo hivyo saa, akaleme wakabisa kabisa. Na alikuwa how old Helen? Alikuwa tu rika yangu, sini maizmet kabisa. So around 16 at that point. So, nika mwa advise ngewewe, si tuende hosi ya kanyambia wanga pana ya ataki. Oki watu wakanda ngasa kuspread room, azu ni kama kona ukimu. Sando kuulize ulizia ni kasike ukimu ni ugonjoga. Sisi, tukuna... Iyo place nini ingara mali tulikuwa nga tuna kampingi kitambo. Kuna mabisi zetu walikuwa nga hapo. So tulikuwa at times tunenda tunawagote. So ni kampele kanga huko. But still bado nikuwa niki hustle na kamna na msaide na vitu kacha kuno. Na ni besti yangu tumetoka na embali. So ilifika place. Siku moja usiku ni menda tu kazi kurudi haka pass. Kupass. Atu kwa nadu hata za mocha, atu kwa nadu za nini. So alika hapo like three days. Do sasa tukasikia anga tunezaenda tupige report ya kama chukuliwe. So alikuja anga kachukuliwe na mapolisi. Na since then, sisi atu kufuatili. Unu atu nadu hata za kumzika, atu na nini. Udem, yani tu kama alipotele anga tu hivo. But si tunajua anga alipasingi. So hapo hivono nilikuja nga nikajua gai, kumbe kuna ukimu. Nikazanga kujua kuna kitu inaito kondom. Sabe nilijua kitu inaito kondom, saa hapo ndo niliaribika kabisa, unona? So nilikuwa nga natumia kondom. But sasa sunona, atakamu natumia kondom, kuna kondom bust. Still bado, nilikuwa at iyo risk. So nikendele nga tu na iyo tabia yangu, hapo ndo malinkwa natuwa do. Hai, sasa nikona tena besti yangu mungina ya mikufa, tena na iyo iyo ugonza. Hai, sasa hapo ndo nikona nga apana. Na we, during the entire time you were involved in prostitution, you never got sick once, never got any STIs? Nishepa testi, hai. But nothing... Nishepa testi, mine za sema tu ni God, siku patanga ukimu, kwa tulikuwa tunashia, sinu mekwa membaka tulikuwa tunashia, same men. But, bimi niliji, kitu tu niliji patanga na yoni STI. So... Unaona sisi tulikuwa tunenanga tukimigrate. Uko hii mta, unaruli unenda, unaona, uko ukichafua hii area, una, unenda area ingine. So venye mini likanga, niko unanga madhari tena kunibambi, nikenda tau, tau pia kunibambi, nilijipata nga dandora. Nilipata nga tuko na besti yangu, tena tuka, tukenda dandora kwa hiyo dumping site. So uko, niko unanga madem, ujitaftia, wanajua kujitaftia, si lazima wafanyisi hii job ya nini? Ya prostitution. Na una watu wanatafta tu machuma, wanenda wanaziuza. Na mbako waneza, out of that money, wanenda wanajikombole ya nyumba. So ni kakuanga tu mabeste zao, mabeste. Na wambia kwa mini ni washuke. Tunajabu kushukana. Hapo hivyo ni kanzanga kujua kushuka nyuele. So una watu yani, they are making a living out of hard work. Ni kajua kume mtu uneza chapa job tu poa, job decent na umuvo tu poa. Na uta gonjeka. Mbaka walikuwa nga. Uko hivyo hao walikuwa nga na rentisha nga. Around 1500. Nika sema nga mimi 1500 sikitu ineza nishinda. 
So nilikuwa na washuka the same time asubuhi tunamka mapema nao madem tunaenda tunakusanya machuma tunaenda tunauza. Ulikuwa unapata dopoa sana hata kushinda hiyo ya prostitution. So nikakombwanga nyumba. Kukombwa nyumba tulikombolea na tukiwa mademu wawili. Tukua tunashingi mademu wawili. So dem jili alikuwa nga najua dando rapo. Alikuwa na mambia kamini besti yangu anajua kushuka. Tunini awashuke. So nikuwa nga na washuka nga nyuele. Nika, yani with, with time nika changa. Nika changa yu storia. Kuenda kutafta usiku. Kuenda kutafta nini wanaume. But sasa kuna certificate nilitoka nae uko. Nilipata nga mimba. Baba sijui, sijai jua baba uo mtoto, but still ni mtoto wangu ndafanya nini. Mtoto isa ya kwa how old? Ako around four. Ako around four years. Na sayi umeacha prostitution kabisa kabisa. Niliacha kabisa, di ni meangukia. Niliacha kabisa. Nasema hadi umeangukia? Mbaka ni meangukia kachali, unona? Mbaka ni kangukia kachali, tuka poa. Unona na napenda mtoto wangu, ata kama... Ana baba, uyo ni katu babake, unona. Na ni mtu anakuelewa, anaelewa pasi yako, amekua kisema. Kabisa, nilimuambia kila kitu. Unona, nakani, tukaendanga viziti, tukajua kila mtu hali yake, unona. But mi kitu mi na shukurungu mungu, na na shukurungu mungu sana. Ni out of, hizo story zote ve nilifanyanga. Siku patanga ukimu. Yes, nishai pata STI. Nishai pata mimba. Out of there, mabesti zangu wengi walikufa na yu ugonjo. But mimi, yani nilipio, nika second chance, unona? You were lucky. Yeah. Very lucky. Yes. Right. Remember, you can join tonight's conversation via the hashtag hash real talk with Temima. Let me know what your views are on tonight's topic, breaking free of prostitution. Let me know where you're watching us from tonight as well. But right now, we have to take a very quick break. We'll be right back. Welcome back to Real Talk. Tonight, our conversation continues. We are spotlighting breaking free of prostitution with a special focus on child prostitution. Now, earlier on, my guest Gladys shared her story with us. Right now, I have with me Joyce, who is 23 years old, and I also have with me Helen Chacha, who is 17 years old, and they will be sharing their stories with us here on Real Talk. Uh, welcome to the show, ladies. Thank you. Uh, let me start with you, Joyce, because again, like Gladys before, you've also been a victim of prostitution. Yeah. Maybe just share with us your story. I was 15 years old, vile nilikataga shule. So I was like, nikiwa shule, nikitoka midra, mama, tukifunga shule, nikiona, niki come home, naona mabeste zangu wako different, wamanza kutumia drugs. So I was like, ile pia pressure. Nika... Where were you living at the time? At my mom's home, Isili. Isili. Yeah. Nika hepa home. Saa kuna mali, mabesi yao wangu walikuwa mekumpoga nyumba. Tulikuwa tunakatukiwa five girls. Yeah. So kuka hapo nikanzaga kutumia drugs, alafu kila mtu wapo walikuwa gana chali yake. Kwa hiyo harakati pia mi nikapata gachali. So kuanzaga kupushu, chali ya nakuja, alikuwa gamwizi pia alikuwa natumia ga drugs. So every girl 300, yeah. Yeah. na mnaishi watano pale. Yeah. Na kila mtu wakuna, all of you are under 18 at that point. Yeah. I was nyumbani. 15 years old back then. Mama haku kutafuta? Alikuwa na nitafuta, lakini sasa ajui yo geto, yenye mimi niko. Kuzea alikuwa ga, hasubuwa nenda kazi ya kirudi ni usiku. So alikuwa nasikia tuwa msichana wako wako kijiji flani ya kikuja kijiji ya na niulizia nijui. After hapo, nikaanza ga ku engage into sex na uwe chali. Siku kwa na jua mambo ya condoms, kwa na jua nini. Sasa situ ikisha tumia shada zetu ni hivyo. Tunaenda, tunakana yeye, tunalala na yeye, ana provide everything, as in alikuwa na provide everything. Kikafuka gamali, haka shikagwa. So, ikakwa, lazima amini uze ndomu. Ndiyo nikipata do, naenda kumuangali ya mali huko, hamishikwa. Haka achili wago, haka rudia hile hile, tukazi yake ya kuiba. Kafika at point, haka uliwa. So, haki kuja kuuliwa, amini likuwa na mimba, siku kuwa na jua. Nilikuwa na, ndiyo nilikuwa na mefikisha 18 years. Nika kwa nika jipata nika na mimba. Nika shindo ndafanya nini, sisi taka mamangu wajue. Ika baki gisa, saa hivyo tu nika na mimba ni jengeji na sex. So ika kwa gatuna lalona mtu ili ananichotea na mimi. 
nilikuwa na changado ya abortion so pesa abortion ni so, you got into prostitution yeah exchanging sex for money yeah to abort yeah so then what happened so ikafika gamali kuna best yangu mwingine akatoa advice sige akaniambia ngangana tu na mtu wako hakuna haja ya wa boat na maybe hata pia wewe life yako itakuwa at risk ikakoga tu ni hivyo mimi nikajiuza boy langu vile ilifika gap at 5 months ikaanza kukuonekana so in your early pregnancy you were still engaged in prostitution yeah so hapo kulikuwa na organization nyingine inaitwa ba hostess walikuwa wanakuja gaya mamtani wana pia na to wana health hivyo tuna kansoliwa mtu anapewa counseling walikuwa na provide health zote unapewa dawa so best yangu mmoja kaniongelesha ga kaniuliza na ule chagile kazi yako nikamwambia sasa hii bole yangu imeanza ku grow lakini nashindwa hata vile ndafanya siwezi rudi home mamangu ataniuliza mimba ni nani mwenye mimba kwa wapi vitu kama hizo kum explain yaga kaniingiza ga kwa hiyo mradi ya yeah, bar hostess ya yeah, ya yeah, bar hostess so ikakuwa tunaenda ga training so nilikuwa na ile knowledge kidogo cuz nilikuwa nimesoma ga uliacha shule ukiwa form form 2 form 2 so nilikuwa na knowledge kidogo nikamuelezeaga nini nini kwa hiyo training tukapitaga so tukachukuliwa go kazi kama peers saa tulikuwa tunaendaga hivyo nje tunaongelesha madi mwenye mimi engage na madawa ama wenye wana engage na sex acts hivyo tunao sasa hizo uko na ball yeah niko na ball na uko umeacha kufanya drugs hiyo hiyo time sasa vile nilipata gai kazi ya bastards kama pia ndio ilibaki gini mechorea since hata tumbe yangu imeanza kuonekana tukaendaga sasa tunaenda nje tunawapea tunawa cancel hivyo tunawapea ma health talk tunaonyesha umuhimu ya condom na sasa hizo bado kama hizo mabeste zako eh bado nakaa hapo hapo so ikaendelea hivyo tukaongeza gwa do vile wale wanatuweza fanya kazi poa mshare kaongeza gwa ikakuwa sasa inaweza jikalisha peke yangu so nika move in ndio nijipange life yangu sasa na mtu hivi atakuwa kanza shopping shopping na hivyo ndio story yangu ile kwamba kanikaacha prostitution kabisa mtu wangu akakuja akafsai akiwa na 3 years aka admit wangu kwa hospitali akakoga diagnosed na leukemia so ikabaki gi bado nikiwa na ile kazi ya bastards na na hii doi ni toshi ile sana jile ya medication nika how much you earning at that time tulikuwa tunalipa gwa 10000 Niko na hii haita nisaidia sana. So ikabaki masa yenye niko hivi na hepa naenda wapi? Najiuza juza kidogo ndio napata do. So you went back to the streets and yeah. back to prostitution. Yeah. So hapo kwa hiyo harakati ya kujiuza uza nini nini tukapata gama sponsor wa inaitwa Hope for Cancer. So wakaniambia iko hivi na hivi tutakusaidia kulipa kadi ya NHF. Na mimi unafanya kazi niko explain ya ga background yangu yote nini. Ikakuwa ni saba waka sponsor ga mtoto wangu. So alikuwa anapata treatment KNH. At the, they fully sponsor the medical yeah, cost. Yeah. Mpaka sasa hii bado wana msponsor. So na nikafika saa ilifika tu a point niko na aba watu wa hope for cancer wame sponsor mtoto wangu. Nikaachana na mambo na sex work. Nikarudia tu kazi yangu ya bastards nikaendelea nayo. Sasa hii bado ndio naendelea nayo. Na uh, and your mother uh, do you guys talk to each other? We don't. Hajui mali yuko. Do. Lakini yashaipe wa rumors, akasikia ga rumors. Mtu naongea ga tu na yeye ni sister yangu. Ujaenda nyumbani kumtafuta. Sijawahi enda cuz mamangu alikuwa ga ile aibu. Mtoto wako anajiuza kwa nini na wewe uko. So vitu kama hizo ndio alikuwa anipuka pia mimi mwenyewe nilikuwa naibu pia nilikuwa naogopa madhangu. Okay. Yeah. So and Helen's story is a bit different because For you a life in prostitution was not a choice. You were actually forced into it. Maybe tell us a bit more about that because you're 17 now. So clearly you went through this when you were much much younger. Ah, mimi nimetoka Dandora na naishi na wazazi wangu wawili. But mama Joy ni onesha ile upendo yenyewe inafaa kuoneshwa kwa mtoto. Like I'm equal so threatening. Ah, hataki kuniona so close with my dad with my siblings ananiambia tu ataniua so nilikuwa naishi na hiyo fear kwanza nilikuwa mdogo so nike now this is your biological mother yes so when i was form 1 august kuna masali kuja home na hata mama alikuwa anamjua ni ile tu alikuwa na make friendship alafu akaanza kuongea kuhusu 
vile life yake ya prostitution imekuwa akakuja akachukua bwana wenyewe wakamove on naye sasa mimi sikujua nini inaendelea cause was so I was fearing people and they decide to walk to walk out on them but kesha yake ilifika hapo kitu saa nane mama akaniambia nijitayarishe so siko na jomo linaenda cause obviously ndani mali so nikajitayarisha um mama akakuja akaniambia anataka kunipeleka kwa hoteli anionyeshe love kaya auntie so mimi nikamfuata tu kufika huko akaoda soda mbili yangu na yake but yangu ilikuwa imekuwa mchele so nilikunywa alafu nikalala the next moment nilijipata kwa lodging na mwanaume and i was naked so nilishtuka kwanza then <coughs> nikamsha huo mwanaume nikamwambia anafanya nini then akasema yeye amelipia it's a service ame pay lakini how old was this man <coughs> she was 35 and how old were you then 14 14 years so your mother and her friend had tricked you yeah dragged you and sold you for sex So mimi nilichukua tungo zangu nikatoka then si nikaenda confront mama mbona anafanya hivi ali get angry akaniambia hii ni maisha then aka, akaanza kunichapa akachukua glass akanigonga jicho so ika haikuwa inaona ilikuwa tu inatoa machozi then hiyo wiki sikuenda o mama alikuwa anakuja anaambiwa bado yeye ni mgonjwa ni ngoje ngoje kiasi Next Did you tell anyone your, your father maybe your neighbors or any relatives no I'll name and send them to then I'll smart and you are I love miss Johnny na relatives kwa sababu hiyo ndio kitu sijai enda hata sijai manti zangu na mango zangu na jua tu mmoja bata kwa sofa then siko ngi in contact na yeye so si dada akakuja akaniuliza nimefanya nini macho sasa mimi nilikuwa nimedanganywa akiniuliza niseme nimeanguka kwa stairs bisa si nikasema tu hivyo kesha hiyo next week nikakujiwa ikakuwa tu naenda like adena lana wanaume wawili kawa yuko na lana mmoja kwa sababu tulikuwa wawili na demu mwingine how old was the other girl she was 17 so during holidays ndo nilikuwa nafanya job juu niko boarding na life kaendelea hivyo ikafika so, this started when you were in form 1 yeah. so during the school term unaenda shule holidays ukiwa nyumbani pale na mom she she ye na rafiki yake wanakuuza yeah. and did you why didn't you tell anyone even in school about what was happening to you uh, since i mimi nimekuwa tu na fia kwanza nilikuwa mdogo ya mom akuoneshi love then these were threatening zake zilikuwa real cuz hata anaweza chukua kisu akudunge cause ilifika time akachukua chuma moto akanichoma nayo mguu so nilikuwa na hiyo fear nilikuwa napenda kuka peke yangu so ulikuwa umeogopa you were petrified yeah okay. so last year the other girl died kwa sababu alikomit suicide alafu yeye kwa life yake yeye alinipiga story yake akaniambia uncle yake alimrip then watu walimsaidia pia wakamrip so akona aizi fanyo kazi bure hata kwa kifanya analipwa so i think alikuwa msik alafu aka commit suicide kwa sababu alichoka na life so mimi kufika hapo nikaona hata mimi hiyo ndo option tu niko nayo hata mimi nijiue kwa sababu hakuna mtu atanisikia did you have other siblings yeah uh, were they older or younger than you three are older than one is younger so three are older are there any older girls yeah just one just one Did your mother did she go through the same thing at the hands of your mother or was it just you? It was just me. It was just you out of all her children. So at this point there you are you're thinking around suicide you can't talk to your father you can't talk to your siblings you can't talk to your teachers in school you can't talk to your relatives and there you are how old were you by this time 15 16 15 15 and you want to commit suicide. So how were you able to get yourself out of that situation? So one day in the morning I was just washing the utensils afu nikasikia a woman talking on the TV akisema life yake ya prostitution vile imekuwa na ko able kusaidia wasichana na pitia shida ka yangu so akaacha namba mimi nilichukua hiyo namba nikampigia kumpigia wakakuja wakanichukua then akanipeleka kwa rafiki yake life there wasn't so easy because i had nightmares like i was just dying you're traumatized yeah 
So ilifika mahali mamangu tena kanitafuta babangu kuitwa akasema that's my biological mother kwa sababu mimi sijoi believe kan mamangu so wakanipeleka tena kwa police station nyingine kufika hapo i was so nilikuwa naogopa alafu mimi ni yule mtu wa upole na kuone huruma but you're so strong like look, listening to you talking right now you are so strong talking about nilifika pale nikapata baka shusha yangu ameitwa shusha yangu akanibeg akaniambia hata kani ukweli ni ache tu story sami ile mambo tu ya huruma nikaone huruma nika drop case ku drop case uh, ule mtu nikwanaishi naye alikasirika then aka walk out lakini mimi nilijua iso life mimi nataka kwa sababu nilirudi home uh, akanituma one day kunituma nilisolve fungu kwa nyumba sasa kurudi ya harakati ya kurudi nilipata akiweka poison kwa chakula yangu your own mother yeah so nikajifanya tu sijaona nikachukua kifungu nikaenda nikabai kitu nimetuma nikarudi but hiyo food sikukula nikamwaga Akash- sasa jioni anafika anashindwa kwani sijakufa akaanza kunigombanisha akaanza kunichapa akaniambia ati ataniua alafu aende ajishikishe so nikaogopa tena ikabidi tena nitoroke so nilikuwa na undergo treatment somewhere i need geo ndo nikawaambia akanipeleka kwa children's home kufika tena kwa children's home niliona aisi life yangu mali unafungiwa then your children's home iko na mashida nyingi mnalala chini alafu mnafanyishwa mawax nikapigia budangu siku moja sasa nikimpigia huo mama wao yeye ufanyaje ikahapa na meingia akaniuliza nini nafanya ndo sasa kanipigia story yao tutoka kwa hapo wengi wameenda wame sexual violence so alinitia nguvu nika have to stay there sasa kukaa kabo mangu tena kaza kunifuata but sasa siku anataka kuenda anakuja na sema maybe wa mtoto anatishia mama atamua sasa mama alichokanga na mimi akasema kuacha nikupeleke kwa ile police station huko kwenu mimi nikupeane kwa wazazi wako mimi sikutaki tena kaenda kufika huko mamangu akaitwa alafu wapo polisi walikuwa wamebribiwa so anything i talk it's just nonsense i kabidi ni rudi home rudi home tena nikaenda tena kwa hiyo ngio akanirudisha huko kwa ufanyaji nikaenda tu nikakaa hapo lakini sikuwa na furaha kwa sababu u mama ndo alini kataa so it happened one august the kwa mwenye ufanyaji sister yake alikuja ilikuwa birthday yake na alisema ata celebrate not so ufanyaji so akiwa hapo sam jumi napenda kuimba nikamuimbia ndo akasema ati anataka kukana mimi nataka hezi ni adopt juu o mama alikuwa anasema hezi ni adopt hezi ni adopt juu mimi niko na wazazi wawili na wako alive akasema atanichukua kaikae na mimi before my case is handled na vile nilichukuliwa ndo naishi nao <coughs> uh, and it's much better yeah. you're happy yeah. you seem very well adjusted Remember tonight we are talking about breaking free of prostitution. You've had the different experiences of all my guests tonight and I think it's a very harrowing picture that is being painted tonight if a biological mother can put her own child through this. But then again that's why we do this show to raise awareness, to help you out there to know. If you're seeing this happening to a child in your neighborhood, in your community, speak up, do something. The organizations which are in place, they can lend assistance, go to a police station, do not tire be someone's angel be someone's hero right now we'll be taking a very quick break when we come back still more to come here on real talk Welcome back to Real Talk. Uh, tonight's topic conversation continues. Remember every girl's story is very different. I've had various girls up on the stage sharing their stories and I'm sure if we had more time if they had to open up they would share even countless more stories of girls that they have met in their lives, girls that they have seen pass away. Obviously this is a topic that we must address as the Kenyan society because it's one thing to bury our heads in the sand and say that prostitution is illegal it's not happening well here i have evidence you know real people sharing their real stories and i think for me really helen's story was the most difficult and even i could see when she was sharing with us the reaction in the audience because for her 
the choice was taken away from her. So right now, I want to introduce Jen Watiri. Jen is 39. She runs an organization called Life Room, which rehabilitates, cancels former sex workers. And uh, from, she herself has been a former sex worker as well. Jen, welcome to the show. So you've been in the audience this entire time, and I'm sure you could relate with a lot of the stories that uh, Gladys, Joyce, Helen were able to share with us. Maybe just put it in, into context for us, because you run a, an organization. So ukokule, ukokule mashinani, yeah? you're, in, you're, you're in the ground. Yeah. So you know the way the situation is. So you know how badly girls, and I hate to say it, even young men are being affected by this right now. Sure. Okay, I'm Jane Watere. I'm born again Christian and I love Jesus. He's my personal savior and I'm a mother of two. Okay, Pia Nami, Nilukwanga Kwa Lefia Prostitute for seven years, Koinanga Street. And Nikua Mchanga, I mean Nilukwa Mdogo. Because I'm going to have my have my firstborn, Eliza Nikua, 17 years. So I'm going to introduce you to my late friend, Amaye. For now she's normal. I'll be passing. I'll call it Chango Joyce. Although I'll be older than me, I can be a West Ham to go in the clubs. I'll be going to figure out. Neither can introduce going Nange F2 Madhouse. Is all club kubwa kubwa. I'll be going to go pesa. Na I'll be going to happen because I'll be going to Tom Changa. I have to drag my baby. So I'll be going to Nange Street. I'll be alone. I'll be in the morning when I come back home. I'll be at Bado. I'm alone. Na singe ataka my mom to jua kujua kwamba nimeingilia life kama hiyo because my mom alikuwa mohash so it happened my mom akachukua mtoi wangu juice kumoja aliambiwa na my neighbors what's happened with these kids in the night analianga saa zingine because nilikuwa nime amekuwa addiction na drugs kwa sababu nilipatia piliton na muovadozi mpaka ikazoea kwa mwili so my mom alikuwa kuja kuchukua the grandson na kaenda na yeye and after that, nika, my mom alichukua mtoi kasema, bora kwa mtoto wangu niko na mtoi, wacha madhangu achukue mtoi mimi ndio na life. Hata kwanza nika, nika graduate nikatoka huko nikaenda mpaka Mombasa sasa niko na freedom ya, ku, ya kuzurura. But yet nilikuwa naambia my mom in one condition usinyime mtoto wangu nikitaka kuja kumuona. Kanaambia mtoto ni wako lakini it's better you die alone but you utakufana mtoto. And I remember kenye kilifanya mimi niingia kwa, kwa kwa street because the father of my son alini hurt. Mi kwa hivyo nikiona kwa inanga nilikuwa after ku destroy men. Me for sure si kwa ipenda wanaume ilikuwa nikikuangalia tu hivi nikuchukie I can carry even your shoes ukitoka kwa logistics tayari kujua vile utaenda home ukitaka kwenda mugu tupu I don't care si pia mimi niliharibu life I will deal with you man najua ujui ile mpaka kiatu at what point and this is the thing about revenge huh? mm -hmm. you know you might think through revenge you're poisoning someone else mm -hmm. but at what point did you realize through this revenge I'm poisoning myself Si kujua na jipoizo juu nilikuwa na kama na hili. Ile ee, ile ile kuhatio nilihatio na the father of my child yeti nilikuwa meyang. Na siku wanajua kuzurula nini, siku wanajua pombe, siku wanajua rave. Na then sasa mana mekuja hame ni enjoy. Nikajua all men they are the same. Kwa hivu wakuna mwenye malaika, wote, juu wanavaa troza ni mwanaume. So nigeingia kwa inanga, either ni mzungu, either ni muafrika. By the way, I remember I used to change my hairstyle kama wiki, ama three days. Nikijua ni memes kwa inanga, ama... Carnival, na change my hairstyle. So what will go on but they cannot recognize me. They don't identify. Because I'm going to change. I used to change the, the hairstyle any time. But yet, CCS am I a life poor. Because it, despite my friends zangu, we lose friends zangu. Despite I'm not a partner client. I'm going to initiate na mambo yaki mashetani. He want to sacrifice you. Sometimes we nakuta mungi na taka anakutole ambaka gan. So it's a matter of life in the poor. Me kanya wanga na ambia magal. Se kama saitu kona no e organization. If we don't want to talk with change, we don't want to talk with a remnant of hope. Iyo ndo taa kuhita kwa sababu wadeli ni remnant, ni watu wale ambao wamebaki ambao hawaku wanatumaini. So iyo ndo taa kuhita organization yeti. Because kitu moja ni meona prostitute wangano wa dharauli wa sana kitu ya kwanza. Kitu ya pita wanakana nikana kwamba si kama watu. Even, even, I like to quote scriptures. Even Jesus himself, when the woman come and akamuosha migu, people they say Jesus anawakuna sinners. So mi pangu ni kajua, I want to carry that. I don't want to carry that heart ya kupenda watu ambao community wapendi. Because I remember even me community, they don't cognize me. Community, they don't want even me to interfere with their children. So, si, nikajua kwa mwa, even many hate, lazima ni kuwe, ni tawa embrace the way we are. Either mtu wako vibaya na mtu wako vibaya na mtu wako vibaya.
na it is good usikondea mtu venye umemuona usidharau mtu jumesikia anafanya jambo fulani because uh, i remember even my community mtu akiniona mtoto wake anamwambia wa mtu toka anatembea na jen atamfundisha kukua kahaba na let me acha nikwambie hakuna kitu ilikuwa mbaya kama mtaa watu wanajua kazi yenye unafanya so inaendana kama inaambukizana tu kila mtu akikuona na friend yako anasema huyu job anafanyanga si poa so nakutana kila mahali CV yako imeharibika so mimi i remember nime nime meet watu wengi through kwa tv wengine kama wanataka commit suicide nawaambia usijue because there is still hope usijichukie so mimi if, if a lot sina financial stable for now but even my 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 voice inaweza fanya mtu wa heal let, let me tell you one thing si lazima ukue na goal I think also I, wa I want to invite I want to invite Patricia Jeru. So Patricia is our resident uh, councillor on this show. Patricia, how do we help these women and these young girls just get over the trauma because we all know that we make mistakes and we've had different stories. For some people they chose their life, for some the choice was made for them, but regardless everybody is sitting here today saying that I broke free. I'm living a life, I'm a salonist, I have a job, I'm in school. So they, they've all turned a new leaf. And I mean, even look at her. Right now, she's mentoring, helping other people who have been through that life. But we know they're all carrying a scar. So how do you deal with that trauma and how do you get past it? Uh, I would want to celebrate these young girls and I don't to encourage them, all of you. A great future does not require a great past. It doesn't matter what you did in the past. Paul was a murderer. You know, Moses was a murderer, but you can end. Just believe in the today and believe that your tomorrow is going to be great. I would also want to advise them that most of them said they didn't go back to school. They didn't finish school. Maybe you can think of going back to school or maybe you can take a course so that now you're able to sustain yourself. Because again, clearly most of them were saying it's because of lack of finances or something like that. Maybe you can start with like going back to school or taking up a course but forgive yourself. I'd also want to encourage you to get a mentor or a person, a friend, a prayer partner, a person who can hold your hand and walk with you. Because I mean, you can relapse, it's easy to go back. But when you have that person who you talk to, whenever maybe things get tough, or maybe you need advice, or you don't know what to do, or you're feeling bad about yourself, you need that person you can talk to, a person who can really like walk with you. Her case, I strongly feel is criminal, but again, from my professional perspective, I strongly feel her mother needs help also. I think her mother has a problem. So maybe we can reach out, talk to your mother, find out why she has issues with herself that she projects them on you. But I'm happy you're in safe hands again. You have a family, so pick up your life from there. Okay. Um, Next, I want to introduce Ruth Wanjiru. Ruth, Ruth is a peer mentor with an organization called Dreams, which helps women who have broken free of prostitution build their lives back together. Ruth, welcome to the show. So Ruth, maybe just hearing what Patricia had to say, hearing Jane's story as well. So you're someone who works within that segment of the, within that segment and with that population, women, young girls. So probably what could you say to them? Ruth Wanjiru. Na naweza waya ambia hao my girls pia mimi nimepitia life kama hiyo hakuna kitu wamefanya yenye sijafanya by the way kabla nijue umuhimu yangu kabla hiyo organization ya dreams ikuje kwa mtaa nilikuwa napitia vitu kama hizo nilikuwa natumia drugs hakuna drugs si kwa natumia nilikuwa na chiumuka nilifanya hiyo usharati yote nikapata mtoto wako 6 years old ndio hiyo organization ikakuja kwa mta najua mnaelewa majengo majengo si pale pazuri ni mtatu inajulikana kwa ma crimes hakuna kitu aina ndio hiyo organization ikakuja ina empower madem 9 to 24 years old wakakuja wakaniongelesha wakaniambia at least truth unaweza change kuna life hii si life ndo kabla niwasikize nilipitia siku anaona wananiita wananiongelesha bure na naona wananiwaste ya time ni mtu nimezoea kuhasol kutafuta mado ndo at least nikajaribu kuona wacha nione kama anaweza change waliniongelesha nika change nikajijua kama mimi msichana nikawapeleka kwa hizo ma, ma area but at least mali nilikuwa na meet na ma, 
na wasichana wenzangu nikawapeleka hiyo mtaa tukakuwa tunaongelesha na waongelesha na waambia kama mimi nili change nilikuwa nafanya na nyinyi sex work nilikuwa na chiumira mbona nyinyi msi change at least saa hii wanajijua wengi wame change naweza waambia wasi give up naweza waambia wasi give up kuna life hapo mbele hiyo si life yetu and we also have elizabeth uh, moniki minor Haya kwa majina ni Ivo Elizabeth na I work with Jane uh, katika Remnant of Hope na I think one of the things na isasema uh, kuna msemo inasema that empty debes make the most noise so I think uh, sisi Kenya tuna lucky even as a country ni our children are very empty unapata even a parent talking about sex kwa mtoto wake na the dangers involved kwa sex unapata most parents are not willing to talk to their children so personally i think these children are very empty wale wenye wanaingia on their own will because hawana guidance na hawana mentorship even from parents so i think it's a challenge to parents wachukulie ni jukumu lao kuweka hao watoto something in their spirit because if mtoto umemlea vizuri Hakuna watu wengi watakuja from outside kumwambia what they should do ama kuwa influence. Uh, and, and really so th that is one side of it because if I had to ask the girls here yes. for instance let me ask So I want to ask Gladys just on the point that uh, she's made sh did what, did Shosh talk to you about you know life sex men did anyone in your life talk to you at home about this? Kwa upande yangu Shosha alikuwa ni kama alikuwa anaogopa kuniambia ukweli. Nikaa alikuwa anaogopa kuniambia ile ukweli ingefanya ni ni jua maneno mob. Alikuwa anaona ni kama nda jua maneno mingi. But mimi nasema labda ningepata anga mtu akuniambia. Labda angekuwa nasikiza anga venye watu walikuwa wanamwambia ange ni change. But unaona mimi sikuwa ipata mtu akuniambia. Cuz alikuwa anaogopa kuniambia ukweli ukweli hata kama alikuwa anajua ni ukweli alikuwa pia na nificha. Sasa mimi naweza sema shosho yangu nalini spoil. What about you Joyce? Because you say mom ni very strict. So did mom have this conversation with you? She used to hata tukiwa shule tulikuwa tuna counseliwa lakini ni ile nili engage kwa hizi vitu jili apia pressure. Azim. Na na best yangu anafanya hivi mimi natamani. Yeah. And what about you Ruth? Mimi kitu ile 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 nilidapo mzazi wangu nilikuwa na niko na mama Sijui baba Tuna, uko majengo mzazi wangu ayuko poa hata food ni shida sasa ikabidi mimi nitoke nikajiasolie nikiasolia my brother zangu ndo tuache kuomba omba chakula niko na nikienda kujiasolia ndo itakuwa poa sababu mama kwa poa mm. and maybe because ali on and ruth was telling us about how organization and what it is they do at the organization, organization where she works She said 9 to 24 24. So is there how are we so far gone that at nine years old we have to talk to a nine year old about don't get into prostitution. Is that what the situation is on the ground and I'm going to ask you Jane. Okay, mimi pango venye naona ni vizuri kuwaongelesha. Kwa sababu let me tell you one thing. You know what is even movies me kuwa transparent unakuta movie zenye watoto kwa nyumba wana watch wazazi wawaambi you know one thing when you when you watch something with the eyes it ingia immediately in the spirit no really tanza ku react kwa life yako so it's better for now wakiwa wa young teach teach your children katika njia ya Mungu hata wakiwa wakubwa hawatatoka teach them hii life ni real kwa sababu watu wale tuna deal nao kama saa hii kama hata saa hii tukiwa hapa nje tumepigiwa simu na mtu anatuambia kuna kesi ambayo inaendelea mtoto wako hivi na anafanya hivi unaambia mzazi mkalishe chini kuwa transparent na yeye muambie men they are real sex ni real na ugonjwa ni real watu wacha kupita wazazi wacha kupita ile mbali tunajua siku hizi ni kubaya unajua magonjwa iko mm -mm. wekelea maneno kwa meza muambie reality because The more days inaenda the more generation inaenda ikipungua. Na let me tell you one thing miaka kadhaa zimepita kama our age of our parents ukiangalia generation yetu kwa saa hii uh, many children hawataki kuambiwa why? Kwa sababu kama the bible says kama huku huku shape mtu ukiwa mdogo ukiwa mkubwa hautaweza ku shape. Inafaa wakati sahi mtu uko mdogo na hauna fruit 
tunda ambalo litaanza kutoka ndani ya ule mtoto ni tunda ambalo lina kumfunza njia ambazo ni za Mungu so before kuwe mkubwa utaweza utaweza kukua na ile knowledge lakini for now ki watch tu unasema ni mtoto hata change tu unajua ni mtoto hata mpaka parents na wale zote kuchapa watoto juu mpaka shule kumwambia kusichapa watoto ukiona kitu imeingia kwa shule kwa 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 nyumba the bible says ma, ma, kijiti mtoto asiondolewe kijiti so mkalishe chini kuna ile ya kuchapa kuna yenye kukalisha chini unamwambia iko hivi na hivi sio na kuongelesha watoto kwa shule kwa machachi sio so u cancel watoto tunawaambia iko hivi na hivi na hivi na si poa let me tell you one thing bila nasema vizuri sana mwenye ako na masikio asikie na mwenye atasikia kosa kuti hiyo hatutaulizwa but for now what we, ha, we, we are doing in a in our group tunaambia anga watu we, we give back to community tuna tunawaongelesha hata kama sometimes you used to go to Koinange street even for those late to go to work out now nawaambia for sure hii si life wanakuwa manga nawaambia excuse me hata kama ni vita tutapigana kwa sababu hii si life because hizo wanamtu wanasema ati prostitute ni job na tutuweke tuchangie ati ni kazi unawaambia this is not life despite kama sign kwa mtoto mkubwa nitamwambia ninaenda wapi usiku lazima atajua life yenye mama yake anapitia then kitu kingine kama mzazi usiambie mtoto wako pombe ni mbaya na yeye tu jioni uko nao kwa meza lazima atataka kuonja juu ni nini wa mama wangu anakunyanga so even sana sana parents wanachangia kama una smoke cigarette na unajua kwamba kwa addiction don't use to your the presence ya watoto wako tumia huko nje ingia kwa nyumba kama mzazi na heshima zako ndio huo mtoto asikwambie si pia mamangu tumia mamangu vuta fegi even, even now i have a big son na ukamwambia madangu mamako alikuwa anafanya na kuambia no my mama jaifanya hivyo why wakati ame grow up amekuta a role model mother so let us be a role model parent and i think he may because obviously as with most topics on this show it's a huge topic which uh, we only have an hour on the show and we try our best to actually just delve into it give you the life lessons from it and really the lesson here tonight is that it's twofold if you're a parent you have to talk to your child there is no topic too taboo if you can't do it find that auntie find that you know if it could even be a neighbor to talk to a child and if you're a young person and you're there thinking about i want to stop going to school so i can go live with my boyfriend there is a time and place for everything it might sound cliche but sitting here today holding examples for you gladys and joyce you've had their stories a couple of years later i'm sure they regret the choices that they made so if you have a chance go to school do everything at the right time and again obviously tonight the focus was on breaking free from prostitution but as usual with every story there are two sides to the coin because if you're talking to young girls who are in the clutches of prostitution a discussion needs to be had with the men in this country with the young boys in this country because who are these girls having sex with obviously that's a show that we're going to pick up here on real talk but for tonight that's it from me Tamima as always thank you so much for tuning in and supporting the show until next time enjoy the rest of your viewing Hi guys. This is Real Talk with Tamima and I am Caroline Wanjiru. Uh, welcome to the show. Please tune in, we'll get educated. Don't you dare touch that dial. I'm with Tamima, don't you dare touch that dial. <laughs>